Good morning. So, we're going to look at dogs and cats to potentially adopt today, aren't we? Are you so excited? I am so excited. It's not even funny. I cannot wait. I was just um going to, I just went to film and it didn't work because I had run out of space and then I looked back on the end clip from yesterday and realised that it pretty much filmed nothing. So, it just literally filmed me starting the camera and that's it. Have myself a long black. Um, I think what I would have said in the end clip yesterday was pretty much just that my knee was sore. Um, not really happy with that, obviously. I didn't run yesterday as a result of that, but that's okay. I, I'm probably not going to run today, but I may feel the inspiration after I get home from work. Who knows? Um, I'm working from 2 to 10, but... Yeah, I switched to shift. Did I say that? I don't know. Um, my knee feels a lot better this morning. I think it's because I stretched for about maybe 35 minutes yesterday, which is quite a lot. Um, I'm trying to make sure my coffee doesn't fall, but I have to switch hands. I was just chatting to Emily about how cool this city that we live in is and how little Emily and I take advantage of it. Um, don't we? Yeah. It's not cool. Like, there's so much cool aesthetic shit that I could be filming for these vlogs on a daily basis that I don't do because I'm just lazy. Um, and that's something I really want to push through because while it's not obviously healthy to be doing stuff every day and be running yourself ragged, it's also good to get out there and see different stuff. And I was also talking about my eating. Obviously, I ate bad for about four days in a row. It didn't make me feel good. And I think I'm really actually getting to the point in my life where... I'm wanting to put that to bed for good and I want balance and moderation. I want to be able to go out to breakfast on a Sunday morning with Emily, but I want to just be able to make better choices and get like fruit toast instead of a big breakfast or get like just eggs on toast instead of eggs on toast with avocado and bacon and salmon and this and that. Like I want to just make some better choices because it makes me feel better. And the older I get, the more I realize how much eating bad makes me feel horrible. And it's all sort of building. I'm learning each time it happens, and I say that all the time. I'm learning each time it happens. I don't catastrophize it anymore. Uh, I don't think, oh my god, I ate so bad. I've got to eat a thousand calories so I can lose weight that I gained and all that sort of stuff. I'm just going to go back to how I was. Keep running. Keep at it. Um, I've got my friend's engagement party coming up on Saturday. So that's going to be a bit of a diet break. It's not even really diet. I don't know, I don't know how to articulate what I want to say, but... I'm in a good place. I feel excited. I'm excited to go and look at dogs. It's going to be such a good day. So we went to the first place um, and saw the dog that we had our eye on. And unfortunately, I don't think the dog is quite right for us. It seemed like it would probably need a bit more care than what, what we could give it. Don't you think? Yeah. A bit but more time. It was cute as, huh? Yeah. Um, we saw a cat that we really love. It has one eye and its name is Imi. So... We really love that one, but now we're on our way to the Burwood RSPCA. So that was the one in Epping, and now we're going to the Burwood one because right, we have enough time, thankfully. We've been meaning to come and look at animals for ages, but obviously I'm always working the weekends and I've always got shit on. Finally found the time today, and it's good that we're going to Burwood as well because they generally have more dogs. They only had like three dogs on display, or four dogs, and two of them already adopted out. So maybe five dogs, but yeah, yeah. two were adopted out. So. Hopefully we can see some more at this one. Um, let's do the cruisy have an Emily drive for once. I'm reading my book as we go. I'm actually almost at 50 books for the year, so I want to sort of reach that before the end of the month, which will be a bit of a stretch, but I'm pretty sure I can get there. This is Bo. He's a great Dane cross, but unfortunately he's got too much energy to live in an apartment. And this one here is Leo, but he's a German Shepherd, so he'll definitely have too much energy. And he's not good with other dogs. He's a really cute mastiff, like a French mastiff that's really, really big and has a droopy face and would draw a lot. I really like it, but I don't know. We're not set on anything just yet. We'll go and see the cats and see how we go with that. Um, it's not really the right thing here either. I think we're just going to have to wait until we find the right thing. I'm home from work now. It was a pretty good day. Um, I chose not to run today because my knee is still feeling funky, so that's not good. I only did 25 kilometres this week. Which is disappointing. It's the first week in about eight weeks or seven or eight weeks since we got back from Japan. First week since we were back from Japan that I missed any run. And I missed two. A um, big part of it, like I said, is because of the way my knee's feeling. Um, <clears throat> I did do the thousand steps, which was 10 kilometers. 
and tons of elevation. So realistically, I will have lost no fitness, but I don't want to do that again. I want to do the thousand steps again, but if it's going to set me back like this, I don't know how I'll go. Um, <clears throat> I might have to work it next time so I can do the thousand steps. Have two days off and then get back into running because it was probably a bad idea to run after doing the thousand steps, but I had to because I put my arms off. So tomorrow I'm running and I'm really excited to see if my knee is going to be okay after it. I'm pretty sure it will be. Um, my long run this week will probably be 12 kilometers. So I'll, I will leave that till later in the week to see how my knee feels. It's the worst that it's felt since I recovered from patella tendinopathy. So it's not a good feeling, but I know I have DOMS and I know I'm really tight due to climbing the thousand steps four times. I'm hoping that tomorrow, if I go really slow and stretch out really well after my run, that it will mean that my knee feels a lot better. I'm going to go to sleep tonight with an ice pack on my knee and I just did some stretching. So <clears throat> it should be okay. I'm almost certain it's going to be okay. I'm determined to not have it be fucked up again. <laughs> anyway, I guess hopefully I've gone for that run before I start the, the vlog tomorrow and I can tell you that it's all a-okay. Um, thanks for watching, hope you're doing well. Take care and I'll see you tomorrow.